First of all, I am so sorry guys that a new recipe took this long to come out with. Usually I try to do a new recipe every week, at least one new recipe every week, and I think this took like two or three weeks. Things have just been so crazy around here getting situated in the new house. And then also I picked up a quite a bit of freelance work and I've been really focused on the freelance work lately because that kind of pays the bills. And the YouTube channel, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, it really doesn't pay any bills. So uh, with my focus being on the freelance work, I just haven't had a whole lot of time to edit anything new and come out with anything new for you guys and I apologize. But new recipes are on the way. I filmed a bunch of new stuff and uh, there will not be a long wait to the next recipe after this, I promise you that. Anyways, today we're doing a low carb, keto friendly cafe mocha mug cake. And I think this is like the ultimate breakfast recipe because it's just super easy to make. There's very little cleanup, so if you're on the go, this is perfect. There's caffeine, there's chocolate, it's absolutely delicious. Uh, with that being said, the whole thing, it only has four net carbs, guys, and this makes a lot of cake, just like all of my mug cakes do. I'm also gonna show you guys how to make a chocolate drizzle for this cake. You don't have to add it, but I highly recommend adding it because chocolate's delicious, and who doesn't want more chocolate? That's only gonna add two extra net carbs to the whole thing. So if you do the whole shebang, six net carbs total, tons of caffeine, you are gonna be ready for the day. Let's get started. Let's make this mug cake, guys. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is take out a large measuring cup or a large bowl, whatever you have around your house. I prefer measuring cups, just easier to pour. You wanna crack and add two large eggs to it. Next, you wanna add a teaspoon or capful of vanilla extract, as well as some coconut flour. And as you guys know, I love the Bob's Red Mill stuff. It truly is the best. They still haven't sent me any stuff for free, which I'm kind of disappointed about. But if you can find that in your grocery store, pick some of that up. If not, there's a link to grab some in the video description below. But for today's recipe, we're going to be adding two tablespoons or around 15 grams of the coconut flour to our bowl. So now we're going to sweeten the recipe up without adding any additional carbs or calories. And we're going to do that by adding some urethrol. Today, I'm using Ketology Sweet as Sugar Urethrol. There's like a hint of vanilla flavoring to this stuff. And it is so delicious, guys. The big thing is adding the right amount of it. And that's going to be two and a half tablespoons or around 30 grams of urethrol for today's mug cake. So now it's time to caffeinate this mug cake and we're gonna do that by adding some instant espresso, mainly because it dissolves so well. I recommend adding about a half tablespoon or four grams of instant espresso to your bowl. But if you want more of a coffee flavor to your cake, just add a little more. So we added the coffee, now we have to add the chocolate. We're gonna be adding a teaspoon or about three grams of unsweetened cocoa powder to the bowl. And then last but not least, we gotta make this baby rise. So we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of baking powder. Now you just wanna take out a whisk, whiskify all those ingredients together until everything is combined and looking chocolatey and coffee-y. I don't think that's a word, but once everything's mixed together well, you wanna take out a small dish or a ramkin, preferably not a mug because mug cakes just don't work well in mugs. Whatever dish you decide to go with though, you wanna generously coat it with baking spray, add all the batter to the dish, and then once you've done that, you wanna microwave it for somewhere between a minute and a half to two minutes, depending on the power of your microwave. Mine is a 700 watt microwave and two minutes is the perfect amount of time for this mug cake. So while the mug cake is microwaving, we're just gonna make a quick chocolate glaze for it. So in a small dish, we're gonna add five grams or a teaspoon of coconut oil, as well as some no sugar added chocolate chips. My favorite are the lilies, just because there's only two net carbs per serving, and I think they taste absolutely delicious. So we're gonna be adding a serving or about 14 grams of those to the dish. And at this point, the mug cake should be done in the microwave. So we're gonna swap the mug cake out for the glaze, and we're gonna microwave the glaze for just about 15 to 30 seconds until everything's melted in there. And then once it's melted, we're gonna mix all that up add it to the top of our cake. And then once we've added all the glaze to the cake, you'll end up with something that looks like this. And then check this out, guys. How delicious does this Cafe Mocha mug cake look? So I say this after every mug cake recipe that I do, and that is always cook your mug cake for less time than you think, than more time. Especially this cake, this cooked a little quicker than some of the other mug cakes that I've done recently. So if you've been making my mug cakes, definitely err on the side of even a little less time than you've normally been cooking them for. Usually it takes about two and a half minutes in my microwave. This one only took about two, two minutes and 15 seconds. So keep that in mind when you're making this thing. I have a 700 powered watt, watt powered microwave, but if you have a higher powered one, you're probably only gonna be looking at, you know, somewhere around a minute, but always play it safe. Cause if you overcook it, it's done. You can't come back from that. If it's undercooked, you can always add five, 10, 15 seconds, whatever you wanna do, and just keep an eye on it until it is the perfect cake consistency. So I hope that tip helps some of you guys out. I hope you enjoy the mug cake. I can't wait to see your recreations of the cake, so if you make it, definitely tag me on Instagram. My handle is in the video description below. Also down there, this is a perfect segue. The full written out recipe is in the video description along with the macros and all of the metric measurements. So definitely check that out. 
And if you want links to any of the products, you want to pick up any of the products that I used to make the recipe today, links are down there as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I'm excited to be in this new kitchen, making new recipes, feels good. Cannot wait to come out with another one for you. It's going to be very soon, much quicker than this recipe was. And I will see you in the next recipe, guys. Thank you.